Hello everyone. Listen, I want to quickly just talk about an update to the payment stuff happening. <sighs> the first video I said, well, I said a lot of things actually, <laughs> but basically, listen up. This is going to be very interesting. So, I decided to do a bit more research. So I decided to check my, uh, my account on a site, on the site, on the bank site, and I was like, okay, let me find out where or what uh, I can do to change something or find something out or, you know, basically just find a way for me to figure this out, the payment stuff. If you watched the first video, you know what I'm talking about. If you could understood, if you could understand what I was saying, then... Hey, bravo to you, I guess. But listen, um, basically, I saw this little thing when I searched, so I decided to try it out. But then I realized it's for something else, not for what I, uh, for not not for what happened to me with the, you know, the payments are through, but I didn't receive a receipt or whatever, none of those stuff. So then I realized, okay, hmm. Let me just click something else, I guess. So I click something else and I see a full list of things that uh, were bought within the past two months, a few weeks, two months. So I try to see more, but you can't really because there's, there's a column, you know, blocking your way every time you scroll. This long bar across the screen, you know, it's not really stable properly on the website. So, well, you can't see what's was the final purchase, but it was like, it w I just wanted to see it much more clearly without that bar. So I printed the PDF of it, get the PDF, and then I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, so the payment went through. The payment went through, but I look carefully to the payments. You see the company and stuff, and underneath, the, I think you get like a payment method or something like that, and different companies have like a different way of receiving it or something like that, okay? Look, I'm not an uh, expert on this stuff, just putting it out there, okay? But look, I, I then decided to read this payment method, search it. Then I come to find out that this payment method, oh my goodness, <laughs> you need to have someone to manually accept it. It's not automatic, it's manual. So basically, um, today is a closing day. Sunday, the, the store is closed. But, um, so people don't work online or on the stores itself. Uh, so, okay, you know, uh, but at least I thought maybe the website is going to do something like this, N not do something like this. Because, you know, when you have websites and stuff, you expect it to be on 24-7, purchase anytime. But now it's like, oh, it's manual, oh. <laughs> so basically, I, uh... I read this, once again, I read the the PDF of all the payments I've done. I then see, well not all of them, but just, you know, for the past few weeks, for the past few months. Yeah, the past two months. But anyways, uh, as I check that out, it's like, so let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. All this time... I was kind of worried for, well, okay, it's good to be worried because you don't know what's going to happen next with the money and stuff. What if they, what if something happens, you know? It, it's always during, during these times, you assume the worst. <laughs> Have you noticed that? You assume the worst when you're panicking. Uh, supposed to be calm, but no, you're not. So, I'm glad they at least on the, on the PDF thing, on that receipt, at least they tell you. Uh, the payment method or something like that underneath the brand. That's good. That's very informative. So you know um, a bit more, I guess. So, you know, I researched that. It told me that someone has to manually accept that. But, you know, my payments still went through, though. That's the thing. My payments went through. It's just that now they have to accept what I bought and send me a receipt of what I bought to my email address and then that's confirmed that they're going to be shipping it. I know that's a mouthful, but 
you kind of wish it was kind of automatic, you know. And then when they arrive at work, they can check all all the purchases that people bought online, and they can check, and they'll be like, okay, I'll ship this out now. But I just wish it was automatic, you know. Um, I'm guessing not everyone buys online, hence why it's not really super automatic. You have to have, uh, you know, you know, people at least checking the site and accepting the, the emails and stuff, and the purchases and stuff. So anyways, that was just it. So hopefully when working hours arrive, um, they at least figure something out. They, they at least accept my payments. It's already with them. That's the thing. It's already with them. Regardless if the master pass said, uh, what did they say before? F tr the funds, uh, your funds were reversed. Well, basically, it was wrong. I made a mistake. It wasn't your funds. It was your transactions. Big mistake, but still kind of the same thing. Funds, okay, not really, but you know what I meant, um, re were reversed. And I searched that and trying to understand what that meant was so difficult. The way uh, the words are placed when you, when you try and read the stuff, it's like you have no clue what the heck is going on, you know. But anyways, uh, so it seems like, you know, when I was purchasing it, and I, I purchased it through Masterpass, the Masterpass app. It then directed me to Chrome again, because I was in Chrome. I edit, I you know, I entered my details and stuff, and chose what I wanted. You know, you know those stuff. Then it took me to the Masterpass app. Then it took me again to Chrome, and this was loading. It was loading, and this was a bit more slower than usual, because you know when uh, accepting payments and stuff. You expect it to be a bit slow, but not so slow. But anyways, it was pretty slow, and then I thought maybe it's my internet, but it could be that, or maybe it could also be the fact that uh, no one was there to accept it. Hence why it was taking a while for it to load to go to someone's um, someone's desktop, you know. Uh, but anyways, that's it for this video. Just a quick update on what I've realized. It took me like a while just to realize that stuff because trust me it's like you have to do more research when it comes to these things you know and thankfully uh you know we can do more research when it comes to these things you know uh you know like from the beginning when i purchased this when i sent the money I was searching and searching, researching, researching, what's this, what does this mean, you know? And obviously, trying to find the answer, but it's like, you're kind of getting close. So now I found the answer. They have the money with them. They just have to accept the, pay the payment that I've done, and then send me a receipt to my email address. Boom. I got my Nintendo Switch. That's how it works, okay? I just hope there's no other issue going on because you because you I have read uh, reviews on this but the, my main part isn't the reviews it's it's what if they just don't want to accept the payments or what if they can't accept the payments ouch that's gonna be very difficult because this Nintendo Switch was kind of expensive by the way it's a light version <laughs> you know but it's still expensive you know that version what was like a bit off you know compared to the others they were selling, but still, it was like, um, regardless if it was on a sale or not, hey, that costed a lot of money, okay? You expect at least the payments to go through and get what you need, okay? Anyways, that's it. Tell me your thoughts. Have you ever been through something like this situation where you need someone manually to accept the payments and stuff, to accept your order? Okay, I, th I think accepting order makes more sense than accept payments because the payment is already there with them. I just have to accept the order. Anyways, once I accept the order, I'll get the email and I'll track it down. <sighs> they said two to five days. <laughs> Working days, so I don't know. Don't know. Don't really know if this will really take long. 
because when I ordered long ago, my uh, USB hub, my keyboard, uh, it was a while. It took a while. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Um, hopefully, you get it. I get it quickly because, um, you know, months down the rise. The demo is till, I think the first Feb or the first Jan. It's best to get the demo quickly as possible because I am not. Well, I mean, I'm still gonna get the full game, I guess. I'm gonna pre-order it. But it's like, you know, at least you wanna try the demo out. Just try it out. Just a little playtime won't hurt with the demo, trying this new gameplay style out. Anyways, this video shouldn't be longer than the first one. I'm gonna end it now. Uh, bye. Um, 